Have you ever heard about the $1,000 pencil? That's what Alan November calls technology when we try to do just the exact same thing we've always done in our classrooms, but with something shiny or new or a lot more expensive. You see, if technology is going to be worth the investment of all that time and energy and money that it takes to actually get it into our classrooms, then really it needs to not only improve how we teach, but also make it possible for our students to learn in ways that they might not have been able to without it. Today I want to introduce you to a teacher who's doing an amazing job of avoiding the trap of the $1,000 pencil. I don't look at it as a $1,000 pencil. I look at my classroom. We do different things every day with the iPads. Um, and like you said, the first time you came in and today we weren't doing the same things. And with any classroom, you're going to be progressing through the year and progressing through the curriculum. So it's not um, a tool like a pencil. It's a tool in a different way where you're moving on and trying to push your students to um, you know, their fullest potential because with just a pencil, you're kind of limited. And with the iPad, I think you, know, you don't really have all those limitations. Ashley McDonald teaches kindergarten at Lakeview Elementary in Ludington. And she's taken something that's very new and shiny, the, the iPad, and leveraged it to help her students learn to write in a very personal way. In this showcase, Ashley's going to introduce how she uses iPads in her own classroom to help her students improve their writing. But she's also going to share with us some ideas about how you can get started using these in your own classroom. As always, we hope this sparks some great ideas, and enjoy! My name is Ashley McDonald. I'm a kindergarten teacher at Lakeview Elementary in Ludington, Michigan, and this is a lesson about using iPads for writing. A lot of people ask me why I use iPads for writing, and a lot of people think that iPads are just a consumption device, and they're actually a great creation tool. I like to use them for differentiating my curriculum. Um, they work great for those students that have a hard time um, with fine motor and they help those students relieve the struggle of that paper pencil challenge. Um, it also works really great for my lower kids that have trouble remembering what the letter looks like when they're writing. Um, when they have the keyboard up they are able to recognize the letter um, from the keyboard and then apply that to their sound spelling. Getting started you will need an iPad I use an Apple TV. If you don't have an Apple TV, um, you can use your um, iPad to connect it to your projector. You'll need a projector. And then I use two apps um, in my kindergarten classroom. I use Story Kit and I use Story Buddy. Here's a little bit about Story Kit. It's a free app and that works great when you have a classroom set of 30 and a very low budget. One feature that I really like about this is the students are able to cre create their writing and then they're able to go and record their voice on top of that. And that helps with fluency, um, it helps with reading their high frequency words in a sentence. And then um, this one has a typing feature and um, a writing feature. So they can either type the words or they are able to still write with their finger. And they can use screenshots from the internet or screenshots um, that they've taken on their iPad and they can actually draw a picture as well. This site allows them to publish to a private site and every time you publish it it will give you the little website and then you are able to go to that um, site multiple different times. Um, the other app that I use is called Story Buddy. This one is not great if you are on a low budget. Um, it costs $7.99, but they do have the volume purchase option. So you are able to receive um, half off with that discount. And it's very similar to Story Kit, um, except for it doesn't have the recording option. Students are able to, again, type or write their words using their fingers. They can create drawings or import screenshots and pictures. They can um, share their books from this app in iBooks when publishing, so they um, can publish and then email me a copy and then I can submit that to iBooks. Um, my kids love to work together to create a story. Um, one person may write a couple pages and then they can email me that story and then another student can add on to it um, and so forth. They um, both work great for differentiation and my students love working together. 
And when you are going to implement this in your classroom, you're going to want to just do a modeled lesson like you would typically do. Um, every day we always brainstorm our writing topic and then I always model write with my students um, and they actually come up to my iPad and draw the instructions. So they help me write the words, they help me draw the picture, um, that way they can see exactly how um, they um, need to do it on their iPad. One thing that we're focusing on right now is using conventions and capitals and periods in the right spot. Um, with both app it, apps it's nice because they can still use their sound spelling and it's not going to give you the red line. I know some teachers like it um, when it gives them the red line with an older grade, but for kindergarten I really like the option that they can get those um, words exactly how it sounds to them at this point. Um, we're working on adding details and then um, when we're done we'll record the final story and share it with the class and that also again helps with fluency. Here are um, two examples. This is with StoryBuddy um, of my students. You can see here that they're really working on spacing and this actually helps a little bit more than um, paper pencil because they actually have to stop and hit the space bar where with writing on a paper they can just um, cram all those words together and not realize that they need to stop and space. So they're really getting the hang of um, the spacing. And then over here you can see their pictures um, that they drew. And again these are both um, found in their iBooks. Here's a small group working together on a story. We had just gone to the Christmas tree farm so they were writing about that um, in a group. So one person would write one de detail, the other one would add another detail to that. Um, you can see to the left there I have a student importing a picture from um, an app that they had created. And again you can see where they're touching to the right. Um, that's exactly what the keyboard looks like and they just chicken peck their sound spelling on there. And another way that you can use, if you don't have a full set of iPads in the classroom, I um, actually do both where the students write on their iPads and then I actually have them write a hard copy as well um, because they need that practice and reinforcement. But what I do when they do writing, every month we make a class book um, with a, a theme and I use my document camera and um, do a screenshot of their hard copy and then I save that all into a document and then I export it as an EPUB and the students then are able to open that EPUB PDF in iBooks and then um, they can go back and read a whole story. So I'll have 27 pages of that document with each student's piece of work. And here are some examples of hard copies. So again, I just put them underneath the document camera, take a picture and um, name each paper, and then I will export that into iBooks. And the kids just love looking at their work. It's so much more exciting for them to open their work um, on the iPad being published than if you were to put this in your traditional classroom library um, and the pages get ripped and the kids, you know, will look at that until there's no more pages left. And on the iPad, they're able to look at it all year um, long. And I oftentimes have children sitting in a group reading the stories together and making sure they're on the same page and then they'll say turn the page together and it's actually a really neat experience for the children. iPads can be used as a creation device by implementing writing and again they are such a nice tool. The students have a different um, opportunity to get their words out without the struggle of paper pencil and they love to see their work being published as I mentioned before. They can reread their stories over and over again without the pages getting torn. And I've had a really great positive feedback from parents who also enjoy reading the classroom books at home. Um, and it's a nice way to kind of measure the students as the year goes on for their progress. Um, they look back at their work from September and in May and they say, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I wrote like that. Look at how much I've learned. And it's nice for parents to see where their child is and where other children are um, in comparison to their um, child there. So great tool in technology and if you have any other questions feel free to email me. I hope you enjoyed this Remsey Connected Educator Series showcase on Ashley and how she uses iPads with her students to help improve their writing. Another thing you'll want to check out is the website lookimlearning.org. This is a documentary that's being made about Ashley and another one of our Connected Educators, Amber Kowatch, about the positive impact of technology on their classrooms.
As always, we look forward to bringing you more of these REMC Connected Educator Series showcases in the near future, and we'll see you back here soon.